I did. No, no, Please don't put your hands on me. Don't, okay. Don't, don't make it to that point. Okay, sir. That's fine. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm unfortunately him. being removed from this building. Thanks for running me into the glass. I appreciate that. You're obstructing the door. Oh man, they shut the door on him too. How embarrassing. Ha ha. It's a supervisor coming to speak with you. Oh, like the one that you said wasn't here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so now I just want to be clear that if I come back to this public property that is publicly accessible, you are going to arrest me. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. What is up, squad? So we are back again for our third visit to the Wayne K. Curry Administration Building because when they sent me the video footage from the PIA request that I put in or the FOIA request that I put in, it was like two two second clips of the ground. They tried to tell me that the IT department went through John Mitchell's phone and that those were the only videos on there that had anything to do with this incident. Da 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 da. And it's like, well, first off, how'd you know that it had to do with this incident if it's just two seconds of footage of the ground? Second off, I didn't ask for the IT department to go through the phone and let me know what they thought was information on this. I asked for the text messages, videos, photos, emails and any social media posts made from this day so no i don't need you going through and deleting all of the stuff basically what she tried to say is that there's no video footage on there from this day da 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 even though i have my own video footage of him taking that video footage so either she's lying or he deleted public records so we're here to find out which one is the case can only be one of those two options. Absolutely appreciate you. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, they haven't done anything personally. I've never met either one of them, so it's not their fault. They're not causing this issue. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? I met you the first time I came up here. What's up, boss? I need to speak to somebody in the office of law about what's going on because they're, uh, trying to just ignore emails and and not contact people back and i don't have time to sit and wait uh what was your name again good citizen, good citizen. yeah i sometimes go by john cena that might have been what i said uh, hi there can i so, help you yeah hi who, who am i speaking to diana diana how you doing diana what's your last name diana oscar Oscar, do you work here in the Office of Law? Yes. Okay, cool, because I've been filling out a PIA request for the last two weeks now, and for whatever reason, Ryan Sargent just wants to be derelict of her duty and not give me the proper information. It first comes down to them telling me, oh, we need your name, your address. They basically wanted my social security number, shoe size, and waist size in order to give me public information, which I don't have to give. So once we got down that road and she realized she wasn't going to win that battle, then we went to the whole, okay, they sent me two clips of two seconds of a video staring at the ground and said the IT department said that that's all the information that's in the phone. Unfortunately, I didn't request the IT department to go through John Mitchell's phone and to decide what they wanted to give to me. I requested the public records that John Mitchell created while using his phone in a public capacity at work. I requested those public records, including video, photo, text messages, emails, and social media posts from that day. I did not request the IT department to go through and decide that they were going to give me two clips of the ground. How do they even know it's from that day of that time if it's from the ground? I have John Mitchell on video creating that record, ma'am. So it's one of two things is happening right now. Either Ryan Sargent is lying and not giving me the proper information, or John Mitchell deleted a public record. Well, I don't have any information to give you. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find someone that can know that, man, because this is my third trip out here for public information. I'm not making a fourth trip out here for public information. Okay. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. And I will be back. Okay. 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 And are you? I'm sorry. Are you videotaping me? Absolutely, 100. percent Okay. I request. Okay. That you don't put me on okay out and there I, on social media okay and i requested public right. information two weeks ago and i still haven't gotten that so okay okay i will i will check on it for you okay or check on it and see what's going see on what's, okay. see what's happening and why i'm being lied to because like i said it's one of two things either he deleted the public record or ryan Sargent is lying to me one of those two things is happening and i'm here to find out which one it is ma'am okay what's up brother 
you're the Annapolis Audit guy, right? What's up? You're Annapolis Audit. Huh? You're the Annapolis Audit guy, right? No. 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 You didn't send. Okay. Nope. Because I do most of the CIA requests. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's actually what I'm here to figure out. I'm here to figure out why I'm not being given the proper information. Miss Diane uh, just went back there. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I go by Good Citizen. I don't go good by like anything. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's um, the email address. Yeah. So ultimately, um, at first they tried to not send me like the proper information, and then they sent me two video files of like two seconds staring at the ground. Right. But unfortunately, I have video proof of Mr. Mitchell creating that public record. So it's one of two things: either Ryan Sargent is lying to me and not giving me the proper information, or Mr. Mitchell deleted it in the OT department or the IT department is lying. So one of those two things is happening. I'm here to figure it out. Right. I think uh, what the issue is that Mr. Mitchell is not very tech savvy. Okay. And so he he what I understand is he did not actually he only took two very short videos. Okay. And so he just doesn't know how to use. Yeah. Phone. I might also need like the text messages and emails and stuff from his phone to make sure there wasn't any other uh, information, you know, okay. any other public records and stuff. Yeah. It can be tough sometimes because there should be more of a back and forth. Yeah, with it, but that's what sucked is like the yeah. the wait time. Yeah, yeah the waiting for her to get back to me and yeah. Yeah, we had to get because it, it was his personal phone, so we had to get it, and then we gave it to OIT and took them time, you know, just to make sure. Just that to go through, yeah. Right, but I got you. so we should maybe communicate a little bit better. I got We're also you. limited. What's your name, brother? Matt Benuti. Matt, nice to meet you, Matt. Oh, sorry, I got you, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. Thank no you. Problem. It's good to have like a nice uh, rapport yeah, with somebody. If I had so. a card, I would give it to you, but I don't. No, you good. I don't have cards. But... I appreciate you. No, you're no, you're I don't. Both of my bosses. All right. Too. Cool. Appreciate you, man. Hi. Yes. I'm hey, Rhonda Weaver. Hi. How you doing, Rhonda Weaver? Can I answer it? I need you to record it, please. Okay. And I so no, I need you to turn it off because I've seen the other video tape where people ask you not to record them, uh -huh. and you put it on YouTube anyway. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm I did. you to turn it off. No, I'm good. Oh, then what do you want? I'm asking you to turn it off. Th this is why I do what I do, Matt. These interactions right here are why I do I what know, I do. I can ask you not to take, not to record me. You're right, you can ask all you want. What do you, what do you need, sir? And if you don't want to be videotaped, do then you sir? can go back behind a barrier. What do you need, sir? I need to find out which of these two scenarios is happening right now, Ms. Rhonda Weaver. Did John Mitchell delete public records that he created in an incident that happened out here that I filed a Maryland PIA Act request for? Or is Ryan Sargent lying to me? And they're just not giving me the records. One of those two scenarios is happening, and I'm here to figure out which it is. Because I'm tired of giving, being given the runaround. I'm tired of being played with. Because I'm not one to be Sir, played with, Miss Rhonda. I sent your email on this on Monday. You're right, you did. And, and to our knowledge, he is not lying to you. We had the phone review by uh -huh. OIT before I even gave you the information. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Why did you not respond to my email that I sent back to you on Monday if it's Wednesday now, Miss Rhonda? Because This could have been avoided had you just responded to somebody's email. I didn't see an email from you on, on Monday. And you could have also emailed again and said, Miss Rhonda, can I have a, a response? I didn't see another email on Monday. I should have to email you a second time? I didn't see an email. I, we're very busy. Okay. I've answered you on my email, and I've also told you what recourses if you want to take if you don't like our decision. Yeah. That's all I have to say. That's about. what I was just asking him and figuring out. That's what I was. I sent it to you in the email. I gave yep. you that information on the email. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, we're not done anything. I can stand out here all I fucking want and videotape you, Ms. Ronda. Yeah, okay. You'd be good first to remember all, that, sweetheart. Do you sweetheart. Not curse at me? I'll curse at you all I want. You can have, the first off, their, their job is to Let's observe go. and report. Let's go. Let's They're go. not here to touch Let's anybody go. or anything. Let's go. Cohen v. California, 1971, Office of Law. Hello. What's up? Thank you. Hey, can you find out if Miss Diane's bringing that information back out here, too? I've been waiting an awful long time for her to come back out here. You said Miss Diane? Yeah, Diane, okay. supposed to get some information okay. for me. Thank you. Um, what's up? You find out what's up with Diane? I spoke with her. She said she has nothing else to give you. She told you how you can do your appeals. Other than that, that is it. So they are asking you to leave because she gave you all the information. She said she emailed. Y'all had an email correspondence and that's been it. Okay, that's fine. And per the um, officer of law, they are saying that they have nothing else to give you. Okay, I'll finish conducting the rest of my business then. Okay, in yep. reference to what? Uh, the rest uh, 40, of my for, business. For here? Yeah, for here. For this building. I'll continue conducting the rest of my business then. Okay, so what they're saying is they want you out of the building. They don't want you in the building because oh, okay. whatever business you had with Office of Law has been You complete. should go tell the Office of Law to look I'm up the Maryland Trespassing that. Statute. We're going to escort him out as such. So, thank you. No, I'm good. No, 
You, you are exiting Can I ask you to see your supervisor, please? And can I get your name and badge number, sir? Cawthorn, 2969. Cawthorn, 2969. Badge number, please. Phillips, 3572. Awesome. Ask you, can we get your supervisor out here, please? I'm the acting supervisor today. Okay. I'm, I'm requesting, you are just a corporal. I'm requesting your acting supervisor no today. no one else here. There, no, there's someone else on the duty that can come out here. And that's me. Okay. No, someone else in the force that can come out here and make absolutely contact. Absolutely not. Yep, so absolutely we're going to leave, Mr. Let's go. We can get on these elevators right here because everything you've done with Officer Law, it has been done. I've okay. already spoke with Miss Weaver. She's already expressed that everything is done. I have other done, business in the building with you. I have other business and in the building with you. It's none of your business what okay. it is. We're, it's my we're, legal and lawful business. I'm gonna get the elevator. Okay, you get the elevator. All right, let's go, Mr. Um, I'm okay. I have legal and lawful business to conduct in this. I have legal and lawful business to conduct in this building, ma'am. No, ma and honestly, you don't. We've I do. I do, and it's not your job. The, the courts have already ruled that what I'm doing is legal and lawful business. And they've already expressed that you have no more business here. They've done with the Office of Law, I have other business here, and though. That's with who? With myself, with my company and my business. Okay, what well, I'm doing right now. Stay on this floor. I, it doesn't have to be this floor. I can go to another floor. I can stay on this floor in the public lobby if I want to. No, because I am done. doing legal and lawful business right, right now. Go, I am sir. conducting. Okay, let's go, sir. I, I'm because okay. Please don't put your hands on me. I no, no, no. Please we, don't we put your hands on me. Don't, okay. Don't, don't make it to that point. Okay? Please don't make it to that point, man. Uh, don't take very nice Please don't take it to that point, sir. Please don't take it to that point, sir. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Please don't put your hands on me, sir. You can just make this a whole lot yep. easier. I am doing legally and lawfully protected activity. I have made no disturbances. You can take this one, man. Thank you. you guys should read the Maryland trespassing statute before we go any further down this road because the Maryland trespass statute is very clear that unless I'm disorderly or I Which create a scene become? no me holding a camera cannot no, no, be considered you're, disorderly you're disrupting business How? Is coming in no and out. no me holding a camera elevated. no I'm not no We've I'm not stop lying on me okay no I'm not so let's go sir. I'm okay he's, he's I'm conducting my business no more conversating with him. Yeah, there's legal and lawful business to be conducted, and I'm conducting it. Can I please have your supervisor out here, officer? I'm not ask you. Supervisor today. Okay, so. who? There, there's. You're just a corporal. There's obviously okay. a sergeant, a lieutenant, a captain, or a chief That's that is here. in That's the not force. Not that is on That's the force. She is the supervisor today of sir. this building, but there's another supervisor on the force that can come out here and, and make contact. And this particular unit today, sir. Yeah, that can come is, out here and make no, contact. No, in this unit, she is the okay, supervisor. Okay. Well, Prince George's County Police Department has other units, and a supervisor can come out here and make contact. Right okay. now, my civil rights are being violated. I have legal and lawful business to conduct. The, the courts have the courts have already ruled. The business is done. Right now, you guys are in violation of 18 U.S. Code 242 and acting under the color of law to deprive someone okay. of public services okay. is a crime, okay. law enforcement officer. You you, yeah, you, yeah, sure. Wait for me down there. When I'm done my business, I'll no, come down no, there and talk to you. Get on this elevator right here. No, ma'am. Okay, come on, sir. Let's please let's don't go. touch me. Let's go, sir. We just let's going go. downstairs. Please we don't. Have a building. Please don't touch me. You want to conduct? You can conduct downstairs, sir. That's fine. Thank you. Video. That's fine. That's fine. Just I'm forcefully being removed from this building. We're not putting you out, sir. Uh, you, you have your arm on me. You're forcefully removing me. Don't say absolutely not when you're doing it. You're doing it right now. He is forcefully removing me from this thing, from this building. I have legal and lawful business. I am being forcefully removed. Please, sir, remove your hands from me. Sir, please remove your hands from me. You have no legal authority to touch me right now, sir. You have no legal authority to touch me, sir. Please remove your hands from me, sir. I have a rare form of blood cancer. Please remove your hands from me. It's starting to hurt my injection site, sir. Let's go, sir. Okay. Ma'am, I'm walking. You don't need to put your hand on my back. I can walk. I know how to fucking walk. I'm good. I'm being forcefully removed from the building for exercising First Amendment protected activities. Thanks for running me into the glass. I appreciate that. They just ran me into those glass barriers that were right there. Thank you for not running me into this barrier. Still being forcefully removed from the building. Have a good day, Mr. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day, sir. I hope you have a horrible day. I hope you do. This is a public lobby right here, right? Please don't let the door okay. open, sir. I won't. Sir, I'm in the public lobby, listen, ma'am. We've already explained everything to you. Officer Law has done all that they can to help. You. Okay, and I've Ms. said Weaver that. Yeah, has I have already other business here. I have other you. business here. You're now stopping people from coming no, I'm not. in. She the was door coming is in. Now she done turned away because her children. Ma'am, there's two doors. Door you guys are causing a scene. There's two doors they but can come in. What else is there that you need to do? I have business here, ma'am, and it's none of your and business I, what I it is. I can tell you if those people are not here or if they are here, so you can go. It's none of your business. 
What no, if I what, what if I don't business. need to talk to someone? So what are you just gonna walk around the halls again? Is it any of your business what I do? It is. That is legal and lawful activity. Okay, that is so public space, ma'am. Anything ma else that you need from yeah, this building? I need you to not touch me while I finish my business. Okay, I need well, you to not, not put your hands back on into me. The building at this point. Under threat of arrest? No, I'm telling you, you're not okay. coming back into the building. And you're going to threaten to arrest me then if I come back in the building? Mr. We're no, not going to play this game. Okay, so I, so I can go back into this public building then? Absolutely not. Then. Okay, so you then. You have no more business. Like, okay, so then what's the difference? Where would you like to Okay, let me clarify this one more time. Are you threatening to arrest me, ma'am? Absolutely not. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm going no, back in the... No, sir, please do not obstruct building. this doorway. You're not you're coming not. back in here. You're done. Officer you're Law done. has already helped you. You're Don't done. make the situation more than what it needs you're to done. be. You're making it more than it needs to be, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Have a good day. You're making it more than it needs have to be. Have a good day, have a good day, day sir. Let's have go. a good day, sir. Okay. Let's go. Have I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so... Oh, man, that sucks. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay. Okay, I'm having it. I'm having my good day right now. That's fine. Okay. Watch out, you're obstructing the doorway that you tried to just call me out for doing two seconds ago, sir. You're obstructing the doorway that you tried to call me out for obstructing two seconds ago. You're obstructing the door. Oh, man, they shut the door on him, too. How embarrassing. Ha, ha. Yeah, you can't criminally trust us. I didn't commit a crime. Alrighty, so it took us like 20 some minutes, but we finally got a hold of a supervisor over there at the Prince George's County Police Department and requested one be dispatched out here. So, yeah. We're gonna go over there and wait for that officer to hopefully educate his lackeys. Is that standard practice to make the person who called go looking for you? What are you talking about? Is it standard practice to make the person who called and requested an officer out here go look for them? Did you request an officer or did you request a supervisor? Yeah. Yep. Okay. The supervisor's on their way. Cool. I wouldn't know that because you didn't make contact to tell me that. You didn't leave a name or anything, a number? I didn't have to. I said I was right out front. There's officers working here. Yeah, I know. That's the issue. Okay. Yeah, it's those officers that are the issue, sir. Okay. Name and badge number, sir? Corporal Frank, ID 3270. Frank 3270? Yes. Thank you, sir. No problem. Is a supervisor coming to speak with you? Oh, like the one that you said wasn't here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Largo Center Drive, Brook Lane, School, Other, Other, PT, PT. I guess that's where he's got to go and do his shit. So, mm, looks like we got some drugs right there. Any, uh, any narcotics we shouldn't? Oh, there's blatantly a warning right there, red and yellow. You can see it. It says not to operate machinery. Hey, how's it going? What's up, buddy? Can I use your name and badge number, sir? You want, yeah, it's uh, Corporal Douglas. Corporal Douglas? You're not a sergeant, though? No, no, no. He's right. coming right now. I was okay. about to let you know. All right. What's up, boss? Hey, how, you how you doing? You said Sergeant Lancaster? Yes, sir. Can I get your badge number as well, sir? 506. 506? Thank you, Sergeant Lancaster. Yep. How you doing, boss? Good. You got a bunch of I've been a lot better, sir. That's for sure. Um, I was just, uh, I just had battery committed against me by some of your officers in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so they illegally put their hands on me against my wishes without me committing any crimes or anything like that and forcibly removed me from a public lobby without being issued a criminal uh, trespass citation. So yeah, the Maryland trespass statute is very clear that I would have to be disorderly or interrupting with the flow of business. And me holding a camera in the hallway in publicly accessible areas cannot be considered uh, a disturbance or interfering with the flow of business just because I'm holding a camera. That's their, if they don't want to work because I'm holding a camera in the hallway and they're back in their offices, then that's on them and I can't control them. But to forcefully put your hands on me and remove me from a public building that I've already been given permission by Dane and Ashton to videotape in the hallways of is not a good look for the Prince George's County Police Department. Then for them to sit there and try to push me back out a second time and laugh in my face and think it's funny. They think this is a fucking joke, bro. And this is not a joke. These are people's freedoms. These are people's rights being taken away. 
being infringed upon and being violated right here in front of us. Whatever the uh, light-skinned Joe Budden wannabe motherfucker in there put his hands on me when I told him multiple times, do not put your hands on me. You do not have the right to put your hands on me. They put He put his hands on me and forcibly removed me from this building, and I have it all on video and audio recording. I would like to press charges of battery against him because I committed no crime, no disturbance, no nothing for him to put his hands on me and remove me from this public building. I have a First Amendment right to the freedom of press. The Supreme Court has already ruled that I can gather content in publicly publicly accessible areas. Not only are they in violation of 18 U.S. Code 242, which is a federal statute, by depriving me of these public services. When you are acting under the color of law, it is a crime to deprive someone of public services, which is not only what they're doing now, but the fact that they are working with these different floors, the Office of Law and the Security Department, to do it to me is also a violation of 18241, which makes it a crime when acting under the color of law to conspire with other government agencies to suppress the rights of a private citizen. There are three crimes that have been committed here today in this building, and not one of them has been by me, sir. I didn't get to, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Good citizen is what I go by. Good citizen? Good citizen. I told him sometimes my friends call me John Cena, and then I do the whole bow, 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 right. like thing. Just what try to be funny. Call you? Good, good, good citizen. Just call you good citizen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, sorry to hear, you know, uh, what happened. That when you were explaining everything to me, you said that um, <clears throat> they put the hand, but did you say anything? Was there anything said, you know, that you thought that uh, might have... Us to come out. No, no. They sat there and said that, you know, your business is done. We're telling you your business is done because we're saying it's done. And I said, well, they um, respectfully, they don't get to decide when my business is done. The court has ruled that this is legal and lawful business. I can do legal and lawful business during legal business hours on public property in the publicly accessible areas. I wasn't going into any unauthorized areas or anything. So they simply said, okay, well, you need to go now. You need to leave. Let's go downstairs. I'm going to open the elevator to go downstairs. And I said, okay, that's fine. If you want to wait downstairs, that's fine. But I'm going to continue gathering content for my story in the legal and lawful manner that I am. And if you guys want to have a conversation when I come downstairs to leave, then that's fine. We can do that. Grab them. Instantly grab me, arm like this. They don't realize I got a rare form of blood cancer and I get phlebotomies right now. I have an injection site right here where I get phlebotomies and IV drips of chemotherapy. It shit hurts, man. When someone, not only did my arm fall asleep just from him squeezing on my wrist, but the fact that he was squeezing on the injection site is very painful, sir. You need an ambulance? Are you okay? I don't need an ambulance. I, I, I'm all right. I just I'm a, no, you're good. I'm a big boy, but it's just it's just bullshit that the people that are like here to protect and serve the community are the ones committing the crimes and acting like fucking bullies. You know what I mean? So I don't know what's going on with like this Ronald McDonald, McChicken Nation, McNugget Squad y'all got in here right now, but all three times I've been here, it has been an escalated situation simply because of them. I don't come in and escalate. Hey, look, I'm going to the publicly and publicly accessible areas, da, da, da. I don't ask unnatural questions. If I go into an office that has permits or license, hey, what kind of licenses do I get here? What, what services? I had, to, I had to figure out some things with the Office of Law because I, okay. I tried to file a PA request originally, uh, was denied that. What's the I mean, uh, uh, Public Information Act. Gotcha. Uh, it's, it's the state version of a FOIA, uh, gotcha. for, for, uh, Freedom of Information Act request. Okay. It's just a state version. So uh, pursuant to Chapter 4-135 of the Maryland PIA Act, I, all of my shit was in accordance with that. Mm -hmm. They got mad because my name, address, social security number, shoe size, and favorite de favorite meal at McDonald's wasn't on the list when I gave it to them. Well, they don't, they're not privy to that information. Okay. So I came back down here to get it because they sent me the wrong information. They sent me two videos of what I was requesting, but it wasn't the videos that I requested. So I came back down here and said, as of this point, you guys are in dereliction of duty and not giving you the information. So it's one of two scenarios. Either John didn't delete the footage and you're just not giving it to me, or he deleted the footage and you're lying about it. It's just it's one of those two things. So Miss Diane said, okay, let me go figure out what's going on. I'll get some information. She went back. Another lady came out. I'm talking to the dude who does the request. Him and I are having a great rapport. You know what I mean? Shit's cool. All of a sudden, a lady comes out. What can I help you with? I'm Rhonda Weaver. Da, 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 da. I, it's the one where I looked at him and I go, Matt, now you see why I do what I do. You see why I carry a camera because people act like this and then pretend that they're like, oh, I'm just trying to help you. And it's like, no, you came out here with an attitude and escalated the situation. I'm asking basic information. If what I have to do is contact the ombudsman, then that's what I have to do. Then just tell me that. Okay. Officer Askew comes over there and goes, there's no more information to give you. You need to leave now. All your business is done here. And respectfully, like I'm telling you, sir, you guys don't decide when my business is concluded. Time, place, and manner. Public forum, legal and lawful activity during business hours. I was within all three of those parameters today, and I was still battered, assaulted, 
and deprived of civil liberties by your officers, sir. Okay. So in reference to, um, what can I help you with today? In reference to, I need to go back in here and finish my job. Well, I think I, I walk in there. I yeah, no, no there. criminal okay. trespass statute okay. has been issued. Okay. And even so, I would have to, uh, like I, I was explaining to them, the Maryland trespass statute is very clear. Mm -hmm. Disorderly conduct, mm -hmm. uh, disturbing the peace, mm -hmm disturbing the flow of business all of those cannot be concluded by simply me holding a camera in the hallway you know what i mean I, okay. they're all adults bro right. we're all adults here Correct. if they want to leave their office and come out and watch me and make a spectacle of it then that's on them i didn't ask them to come out and do all that shit. so to sit there and say oh they're not doing their flow of business because you're out here with the camera then be their supervisor tell them to mind their own business and to go do their job it's that simple not me, not me, harass I me. I think they close now. Let me just find out something. Yeah, they close at five o'clock. So we're gonna go back in there until well, five o'clock. I'm gonna go in there too, cause just uh, listen to me real quick. Okay. I talk to you, just you and I. I got you. I'm asking you to show me the service Let me talk to them, just me and mm -hmm. them, because what I don't want is you all going back and forth, and I can't get there. No, that's fine. There, but I am gonna stand right there in that front foyer. You stand with these I'm gonna stand right in that front foyer where it's air conditioning. I mean, where it's air conditioning. I'm gonna stand in that public foyer. Listen to me. Where it's air conditioning, where I have not committed any crimes. Can you do me a favor? You, I, I respect you. I understand that, sir, but I've been waiting out here for almost an hour, no. and I'm in jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt, and again, like I said, I'm going through I, chemotherapy right now. Okay. Do you mind just with these officers? I, I do mind, sir. Yes, sir, I do mind. I do mind. Very, very much, sir. How about we stand in the shade? No, I've been standing in the shade up there for quite a while. I will stand... Listen. I will stand in the public lobby. Okay, and again, what crime did I commit under the Maryland trespassing statute to ask me? Okay, cool. Let me know, because I got all the evidence it wasn't done. But you can't go in the building. You can stand next to it. Well, hold on, sir. Sir, they have not issued me a criminal trespass statute yet. Did I show you that respect? You did, you did. For real. Bro, I'm not trying to go in the building. I'm just trying to stand right there. There's another set of doors that shut. You're not letting me get a word in. That's all I'm asking you. Just for right now. Let me go in there. And just talk. I'm not going to be in that long when I come out. No, that's fine. But why can't I stand here in the area where there's another set of doors? You can go behind that other set of doors. Eye contact or anything to be Well, then tell them not to look at me, sir. Okay, but I need you. Same thing That's fine. No, I'm, I'm hot and sweaty. I've not been given a criminal trespass statute. So I'm going to stand in the public lobby of this public building, sir. Then how am I talking to Talk to them in private. Go in yeah, private. That's what I want. But now I'm going to talk to them right there. I'm not going to go through the building. Okay. No, go back. Okay, look. Where he's standing, there's a set of doors. Then there's another set of doors. But you this, go through that second this, set. I'll stay on this side of the first set. Mr. Good Yes, sir. Sir, it's very hot. I'm I sweating. That. I need to go stand in the air conditioning, sir. But it's been hot all day. I know. You're right. It has been hot all so day. Let me go in there and talk to him. And then I know. Go, but right. I'm going to stand in the air conditioning thing because I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a tax-paying private citizen who hasn't committed any crimes, and this is a public building. The court has ruled that what I'm doing is not a crime. What I'm doing cannot be considered uh, disturbance or disorderly. Right here, this shape. I've been staying in shape. No, this this lobby right here where it's air no conditioning. AC right there. It's not a lot of AC. So no, but, yeah, but there's some AC. AC. There's more AC right there than there is right here on the shade, sir. Again, sir, I've not been given a criminal trespassing you statute. Haven't, but so you right. haven't actually trespassed. I know. So I'm just going to show in the going lobby. Back in the building, that'll be trespassing. Well, if I go in the building, this is the lobby. If I go past that security the, checkpoint, then it would be. No, it's the, the door. To the the door. Building, get over. That's okay. what I'm saying to you. Okay, you. first off, that would be true if I actually committed a crime. If I was disorderly, disruptive, for the lower business, disturbing the peace, da da da. Do you guys have any reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed any of those well, crimes? That's what he's going to find out. Right? Okay. Yeah. Well, while he, okay, but I'm not going to be punished while he does his investigation. You're not being punished. You're if he does his investig, sir. If you, you do your sir, you if you do your inve sir, if you do your investigation, look, you stand right there. No, I'm good. I'm look, gonna stand look, in the look, AC. Look, I got more equipment on than you. Yeah, but you I were also just there? sitting in that long, in that hot or that cold ass car for how long? And I've been standing in the I've sun. I've been standing out here for how long, bro? I don't know. Yeah, we'll you do know. Up. We'll be fine oh, right here. You were here before I was here, right? So I don't know how long you were standing out here. Since I made the call. Where's your car? What car? How'd you get here? A flying Nimbus. Okay, well, is that, that a Harry Potter reference? No, nah, it was a Dragon Ball Z one. Oh, okay. uh, they had the Nimbus 3000 is like well, the uh, got, room. Yeah, yeah I had someone ask that before. But however you got here probably has air conditioning, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so you can go sit in there if you want until the officer when the, the, when the When the flying Nimbus gets up in the clouds, it's like a nice breeze, okay. man. It's just cruising, you know what I mean? 10,000 feet altitude. Yep. Yeah, but in the meantime, please don't obstruct the doorway, officer. No, you're not going in right now. Please, please don't obstruct the doorway, officer. This is, this is where we're going to wait. I know. I'm, I'm not trying to go in the building. I'm trying to stay in the air conditioning, bro. 
Yeah, that's, that's inside the of building. a public building that I've committed no crimes at, sir. Well, you're suspected of committing a crime. Okay, what so reasonable, supervisor. articulable suspicion do you have okay. other than someone else's words? Because that's hearsay, sir. Well, that's okay. your words, right? Your words are hearsay, too. No, I have video evidence. Okay. I have video evidence. All right. And there's video in there. Yeah, he doesn't have access to that video like my camera is here, sir. I don't have access to your stuff. Can you play back on that? Is that one of the new GoPros? Yeah, it's a 10. So you can play back, though, right? I can play back. Yep. I can pull it up right here and well, show y'all right here on the spot. All right, Mr. Gerson, did you drive here? Oh, What's up? You, you drive here or just catch a bus? I, I just told him I got a flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus? Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus. Yeah, well, they're closing now. Yeah, they're closing in uh, seven more minutes. No, they actually close now. They close at five o'clock in seven more minutes. Today was a 4 30 day. They don't have the option to do that, sir. They don't have the option to do that, sir. No, Unfortunately. No, property, okay. okay, so you are, so are you issuing me a criminal trespass citation? I'm letting you know okay. that I'm doing an investigation. Okay? Uh -huh. with everything based on what you told me what they yep. did. Right? Uh -huh. This is not going on the war like that. Oh, I hope as not. Right it's, now, it's definitely not, sir. Trust me. <laughs> as of right now, All 15 of my subscribers are going to have a field day with this. Let me finish, sir. Mr. Good says, I showed you respect kindly. Are you going to let me finish? Okay. You show me respect by making me sit outside when I didn't commit any yes, crimes at a public building? Yes, sir. That's respect? Yes, okay. That's All right. plenty of it. Okay. Yes, All right. Okay. We have different definitions, but okay. Right. But you can't come back and bury it. You can't come back today. All right? You're going to have to leave the property. You said today? Huh? You, you said today? Today you have to leave the property. Oh, okay. Today. But I can come back tomorrow and conduct my business because it's a public... Well then, I, well, then you're saying I'm being okay. trespassed from this public agency, right? That's basically what it is. Okay. okay. I need that in writing, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that in writing. Yeah, That's I'm gonna need some sort of you. citation. Yeah, I'm gonna need that in writing, sir. Yeah. We're not required to. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need that in writing, sir. I was, I was speaking to him. I'm gonna need that in writing, sir. But they're not, they're not required to do that. Okay. okay. They, verb not... they verbally expressed that okay. you cannot be back here. Yeah. So yeah, well, yeah, unless I commit a crime, sir. Like I was just explaining to you, and you're, none of those things are done. The crime if you're doing back, your investigation, you, you sir, then do your investigation. The crime would be you coming back. That would be the crime. That's, I, that's you know. It's, they escort I'd you hope out. You, I hope you would not, sir. I hope you would not. That would be a very Listen, bad look for the Prince George's so County have Police to leave Department. The property. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, at five they o'clock at the end of business hours. No, you have to leave now. Why now? So you, okay. I told you to leave now. Let me ask one last ahead. question. Two, three words, uh, five words maybe. Are you threatening to arrest me? I didn't say that. Did okay. You do that? No, but I'm asking. Are you saying if I don't I'm, leave this I'm, public I'm, property that I will be arrested, if sir? If you don't leave, that's the next option, that you can be arrested. You can be arrested. No, I don't want to hear I can be. I want you to tell me that I will be, sir, because it, as I, of right now, we're, we'll these be, are, hypo these are hypothetical, sir. If you leave, then we don't, we don't want to arrest you. And I don't want to be arrested solve, either. But to solve this problem, that's... No, to solve this problem would be for you to go and educate your officers on what is legal and lawful activity and what is right and wrong, I, I sir. That them. would solve this issue. Right. Not coming out here to the legal and lawful abiding citizen and kicking him off a of private or public property when he didn't commit any crimes, sir. That's not, you know, I mean, that's not de-escalating, bro. I've been cool with y'all. I've been cool with you. Actually, you were a dickhead because you tried to hide on the side and not I even did. come up to me. I it was whatever. I've been cool with you, bro. Look, and I told the people upstairs, I don't want to come here a third, a fourth, a fifth time. This is my third. So, yeah, let that be known. There's going to be a fourth and a fifth time. I have legal business here, and you can go ask the commissioner. When you have legal and lawful business on public property, whether it be at a government agency or what, you can go there. Filing a FOIA, a complaint, redressing the government for grievances, all of those things are allowed on public property. Right, they ask you to leave, you have to leave. They ask you to leave, you gave them a hard time, and go ahead and escort you out of here. Well, they, they, can't leave, they, can no, they can't just ask you to leave, sir. They can't ask you to leave again. They can't just ask. Why? Why they can't? Why they cannot? Explain to me why they cannot. Because it's not their property, sir. It this is public be, property. I have the, the same right to these public services as every other private yeah, citizen does, sir. If you're being difficult, they can they can stop that. Me holding a camera isn't being they, difficult, they, sir. They said they were threatened by you. Okay. So okay. how about this? How about we have a compromise? Okay. What kind of compromise can we get? You obviously have business that you need absolutely one hundred percent. So. I think the best compromise would be to end this today and you come back tomorrow and try to try it again but not be as threatening. Sir, me holding a camera can't be considered being threatening. You guys have cameras on your chest, I you know agree. what I mean? You're not threatening. I agree. Yeah. For a long time. They said it's closed. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You can't drop something off? Okay. Oh. So it's not closed? It's just closed for me then. 
Well, we're trying to, like I said. Okay. I'm like, man, I have 10 minutes of video footage of him creating that thing. It has to be longer than two seconds. What's up, buddy? They're not going to put it in right. They're going to email you, Miss Rhonda. I guess Miss Rhonda, um, we've been used to talking to. Yeah. Because the attorney's going to um, put us something. But you're not allowed to come back. If you come back tomorrow, any day, this is what you do. I'm just telling you what to say. Well, you, so, okay, done. so you're saying this week. Does that mean I can come back next week or what? No, if you come back, you can't come back to the property. You have to get permission at some point now. Because now you're banned from They don't want you to. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So How's that work? How can you ban someone from public property? Based on whatever happened when they didn't commit the day, a crime. It's your word against their word. You're right. It is. So, so why are you believing theirs when I have video footage? They're agents for the property. Uh huh. They're agents for this. But property. I have video evidence that they're lying. Okay, but they, okay, that's the investigation. That's not. Okay, they, that's fine. Then you look, want to let me finish? No, that's not. I'm not. I'll not. leave. I'll leave, and that's fine. And I won't come back tomorrow or the rest of this week. And I'll get a lawyer, and I'll do what I need to do for that. But in the meantime, I also need you to file that battery charge on the officer in there for placing his hands on me okay. and forcefully removing me from public property right. when I had not been giving any trespass warning, notice, or anything, sir. Okay. So if you're going to come do this to me, I need you to do that to him too, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, that's why I told you right. first, man. I told you I am investigating that. Okay. I mean, All right. Why would, why would you... The only, the, the, the only thing it, I, I need was your information. Uh-huh. Good citizen. Okay. Uh, uh, Good citizen. Let me just write that down. Yep. See, I'm right to down. I got you. Appreciate your cooperation with this. Yeah. I wish there was some cooperation from their end, but you know. All right, Mr. Good Citizen. Mm hmm. And do you have a phone number or email or anything you want to give me? Uh, yeah, I can give you my email. Yes, sir. It's A. A. N. 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 A. A. P. P. O. L. I. S. O. L. I. S. A. A. U. U. D. I. T. D. I T. At gmail.com. Gmail. Okay. Alright, no phone number like that? No. Okay, how about an uh, address or work at home or whatever like no. that? No. That's it? Okay. Nope. You just catch me chilling in the clouds, brother. Okay. Uh, date of birth or uh, age range or something? No. No. Okay. Alright. I, I don't know how any of that would help you filing charges against him. But. Okay. You want me to explain it to you? Whenever if you want to. Okay. I don't know you've been arrested before, but whenever we lock somebody up, <laughs> so, okay, I don't, plenty of times, okay, we unfortunately, lock, whenever we arrest somebody, they got to be a victim, mm -hmm. right? With that victim, we got to have the name, address, phone number, date of birth, stuff like that. So, no, somebody can report a crime okay, anonymously. Listen to me. You can't get convicted. So what I'm saying is that's, a, that's why we write this stuff down. So when we do the report or we have to arrest somebody, just sometimes want to know who the person name okay. is and the address. That's okay. it. That's it. All right. So what I, when the, when the witness statement is filled out, it goes to the judge and he, they send up one um, letting them know, let them know. I'm sorry, the victim know that hey, the court date is this date for this person. Okay. That's all it's for. Okay. You know so. But, you all know, right. This all you gonna give me? No problem. You know, yeah, I just I don't like to give up too much like okay. personal information, no being a private citizen and things like that. So now part of your investigation, because you said you're doing an investigation, yeah, right? Yeah, well, that's based on what you said. What you okay. Told me earlier that he put his hands all right. on you. So now, do you, you know, want like the the video evidence of uh, did you use for your investigation? Because I you know no, I have to start off. Considering you were doing like an here. investigation, yeah, but I have audio. That's the thing. Their cameras don't yeah. have audio. I, I you know, have everything, it, and I was, I was thinking if you know you were doing a diligent investigation that you would want all of the evidence to do the investigation. Properly, yeah, isn't that something that you would want, sir? I have it. The cameras. No, no, the audio and all the yeah, stuff it, here. Those are audio. That's what I'm saying to you. Government, all government has it. Okay. Yeah, okay. We can, if it's and you know, and you, know, but you don't want mine. Maybe I have a different angle. No, you don't want all the problem, evidence. If, if, let me finish. If I need yours, I'll let you. Know. Okay. I have to do these videos. Okay. Okay. So whatever flow is on, go from there. Okay. It just takes a while, but it's gonna go to my lieutenant. All right. Okay. And so now I just want to be clear that if I come back to this public property that is publicly accessible, you are going to arrest me. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank yeah. you, sir. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Man. You too. Thank you. Alrighty, squad. There you have it. So the supervisor came out, made contact, went and talked to the people inside. They're still lying upon me. And ultimately, they are going to arrest me if I don't leave and or come back to this property at any time after this. So this is the Wayne K. Curry Administration Building out here on 1301 McCormick Drive. Till next time, squad. Be safe out there. Take it easy. Peace out.